Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to my channel. How can we learn AEM quickly? This is what we are going to see in this particular video. As a disclaimer, this video is not for the people who wanted to clear the AEM certification. Clearing the AEM certification is completely academic in nature and it requires a completely different strategy, which I am not aware of because I myself haven't cleared the AEM certification. But if you want to learn AEM to get a job, or want to excel in the current job which you are doing, then this is the right video for you. Let's get started with the presentation. According to me, these are the four paths which you could take in order to get into an AEM job. First one is the most simplest way, which is being an AEM author. And second two, I would say, are more of the developer oriented roles. The first one is the front end development. And the second one is a back-end development. And if you are well versed with this both, then you are called as a full stack developer. And the fourth one is being an AEM administrator. In my opinion, to get into AEM job quickly, you can choose any one of these four paths and focus on that alone and master that so that you can get into the job quickly or you can excel in that particular job quickly. Let's see what is that you need to be able to learn in order to do these things. So the first one is AEM authoring. So these are the skill sets which you need uh, to excel in in order to be a good AEM author. So the first thing which we need to know about is AEM page authoring. How do you author a page? What do you mean by page authoring? Like in as I told in my previous uh, videos, AEM allows us to drag and drop certain components like button components uh, or uh, cards component. So we can drag and drop these components and create the layout, any layout which we want dynamically. We can just drag and drop and resize those components or we can just uh, change the styles on that components, colors on that, on that component. Any non-technical user will be able to do that. Okay, so how do you do all those? That comes under the AEM page authoring. So first we need to know what are these uh, basic page authoring concepts. So the next thing which we should know about is the dynamic templates. Okay, so the page which we are creating here to author anything, right? We create a page. Now this page is dependent upon a template. And what does the template tell is what all components are allowed on that particular page. We can define that in the template. So if we say only 10 components are allowed in this page, then you will not be able to add any other components like 11th component onto that page. So all those restrictions can be laid down in the dynamic templates. Okay. And then next thing you can say is each component can have the policies. So what do we mean by policies? So in the each policy, we can define the styles. Like for example, if there is a button component, then how many variations of the button component can be there? Maybe button can be uh, there in the blue color, red color, orange color. So the, these different styles, what all different styles can be there on each component that can be defined on the component policy. Okay, so these template related things also a author should know. So the next thing which we should know about is the multi-site management. Okay, so if it is a multinational organization, then how do you create the sites for each geographic location and each language those concepts come under the multi-site management so we will have to learn that and then we should be able to author also the content fragments and experience fragments how do we create it and how do you use it in the page so and what are the out of the box components uh, which are given in the AEM and what is their purpose so these are the basic things which we should know as part of AEM authoring so then whatever given below is the extra concepts if known will give you a good boost in whatever job you are doing. Okay, the, so the first thing is the domain knowledge. Like for example, if you are working in a financial organization, if you know the terms of the financial organization, and if you know the, if you have a particular domain knowledge, like what exactly that business is, uh, and what exactly they're trying to achieve, if you have that business knowledge or domain knowledge, then it will be more fetching for you. And if you also have the content writing skills, if you are able to create the blog posts or create any uh, content or if you have any marketing skills, then it would really add because the combination of AEM author, authoring and the content writing and marketing skills are very rare. 
So if you have these both, then it will be a good fetch and booster for your career. And if you know a simple understanding on analytics, like for example, if you can open Adobe Analytics and understand a page performance report, then that, that will really give you a good boost in your job. So this is all about AEM authoring. And next comes the development paths. So if you want to be a AEM developer, either a front-end developer or a back-end developer, then these are the three concepts which you must know. Any developer must know these three concepts. So one thing is AEM architecture. What are all the architectural concepts involved? Like what are all the technology involved? What is the tech stack that you must know? And how each of these different tech stacks are interacting with each other. So that is, uh, that is one thing which you must know. And the second is sling resolution. Like for example, if you give a particular path in the URL, then how is that path getting resolved to the page? How is that path getting resolved to the component or how does the AEM know which code to execute when a particular path is given in the URL. So that's link resolution concepts you should know. And the third thing is you have to have the basic understanding of AEM authoring. So every developer must be an author. Okay, so you should be able to test whatever you have developed. So you should know basic authoring concepts. So these are the three basic things which any developer must know. Then coming to the front end development now, what is the skill set which is required? These are the basic skill sets which you must have if you want to become a front end developer. So the first thing is HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. So these things you must know. So if you want to learn more about this, I have created already the videos on all these concepts. So you can refer the link in the description below to explore more about these things. Okay, then the second thing which you must know is templating language. Okay, this is just like a JSP or PHP wherein you can mix the HTML and also some of the HTML related concepts to be able to do certain looping or to be able to interact with the backend servlets and get the data. So this AEM HTML is a templating language which you must know. And the third thing is you must know either less framework or SAS framework. These are the CSS frameworks. So mostly in AEM, the pure CSS is not used. Either we use the less framework or SAS framework. So it is good to know actually these frameworks and how they work. And the fourth thing is, where do we place these CSS and JavaScript files in AEM? And how are they getting compiled? And how are they getting concatenated? And how and where does all these CSS and JS files for a particular site reside? And how is all this working is something which we must know. So then these are the concepts which will give a real booster to the job which you are already doing. So the first thing is the con context hub and personalization. If you are able to get the context hub details like what is the current location of the user and what is the demographic and other age or any personal information and based on that how do we personalize the experiences. So if you have that idea then it will be a really good booster for the current job which you are doing. And the second thing is Angular or React experience, including the state management. So if you have already worked on any of the Angular or React frameworks, and if you know how the single page application works, if you know the layered architecture, and if you are well aware as to how to create the modules and how does each module interact, uh, and if you have developed any of the real-time application in Angular, be it also the personal application that will be really really a good booster and you must also know how will AEM and SPA work together so this is also one of the thing which you must know and if you know these things then it will be a really really good booster to the current job which you are doing as a front-end developer and really high paid salary jobs you will get now let's move on to back-end development so this AEM backend development, I would say this is the AEM core development wherein you must know what is the AEM project structure and you must know what is the Maven and what are the Maven dependencies. Then you should also know how to create the custom components, how to use Sling servlets, OSJ services and workflow administration. And if you want to create any content model for the authors to create the content fragments, how do you create those content models? 
so these are the things basic things which you must know these are the regular things which you will be using in the projects so if you know these things then you, you will be able to easily settle down in the project and be able to work okay so this is the aem core uh, developer knowledge i would say uh, which any aem backend developer must have apart from this as an aem developer if you also have the knowledge on how the java microservices works and if you are able to create the microservices either in adobe io or even in aws or any other cloud environment that will be a really good booster for whatever job you are doing already okay so then the last thing is aem administrator so if you want to settle down as an aem administrator then these are the concepts which you must know first is how do you install install upgrade and configure the aem servers then how do you backup and restore how do you integrate aem with other adobe applications like uh, adobe analytics campaign and dif different other applications and if there is any performance issue in aem how do you debug it and what are the issues and what are the things you will see and how do you manage the tags in aem and how do you manage the security and identity management like if there has to be any single sign on how do you configure it so these are the different things which you must know as an aem administrator so hope this video has helped you if you are liking the videos which i am doing please like and subscribe to my channel thank you